Hello everybody, I am Bramman19 and welcome to episode 29 of our Poland-Lithuania campaign in Empire Total War. So, it's pretty much come down to the end. I think this is going to be the last episode, actually. Because all we have to do is take Stockholm, and when we take Stockholm, we'll have... We'll be owning all eight of our victory regions. We already have 33 region, we'll, regions, we'll then have 34. Um, we'll be at peace with everybody, too. We'll be number two in prestige, which, I mean... Kind of sucks on that part, but it's okay. Um, I mean, we are we have five armies in the moving around and stuff. I'm, we're doing pretty well in that regard. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and end this turn because there's nothing left to do. All right, the Ottoman Empire is moving around. I'm I'm so glad I got so like we completed this in like record time in my opinion I know like 29 episodes doesn't seem like record time but I mean considering in the past it's taken them taking us quite a bit longer yep us we're still giving you stuff yeah there is a port in this region that has not yet been developed Nice Select construction report. Construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A new port a in Denmark port allows the construction of warships. Local fishery, a trading port. Well, that only, that only leaves only one more. <laughs> the shipyard. Okay, those are added. He's got his walls now. Most places, except for probably yeah, Warsaw. No, even Warsaw has the metal roads added. Do you have metal roads? No, you don't. You need metal roads. But you're working on it. We're paying the Maratha 10,000 uh, for 10 turns. And that's, that's quite a bit of money for them. That's still three. Yeah, they're going to have to give up on this turn. They don't have a whole lot to work with either. I got these guys here in case Russia gets a little antsy. Anything else? No? I got two. <laughs> this is my only navy. Two bomb catches. Now, of course, I don't count the pirates because I can't actually work them out of the deals. Where are they even at? Pirates have the Leewards, Trinidad and Tobago. These are just rebels. I mean, we're at war with them just because they're rebels. Yeah, I don't think they have anything else. I mean, these are rebels down here, which Maratha could come take, but... Let me go ahead and try to make a quick friend. Mysore, open. Let's trade. Here we go. Another little trade deal there. Going into uh, Maratha and going into the Mysore. A little bit extra money. Not a big deal. Um, in the turn... Now this is a t this is gonna be where we have our fight, our final fight, the one against Sweden. Unless somebody decides to get cheeky and attack me. All right, there we go. 1950 versus 1028. Let's do it. They have got to shift me. If they want to win this, they have to shift me. All right. History is indeed little more than the register of names. Well, something like that. I can't remember. I've heard that quote a time or two. Let's take. 
take these, open it up. Do that. Um, give me him. It's snowing and then it's thunder rain as well. Like, it's not thunder snow, it's actually like thunderstorming on snowy ground. That's weird. Alright, looks good. I'm gonna shift these over here. They can come deal with that. And here they come, they're just they're gonna assault us straight on for the most part. Their cannon aren't, don't have a good shot of actually hurting us. Now ours, on the other hand, does. I'm going to turn fire at will off for a second. Actually, no. Turn it on. No matter how far away they are, you can still get a good shot. And the time it takes to turn the guns and all that, they get a little closer. Ready for these guns, there they go. There you go, nice. Good first shot, so we probably killed at least 20 in each uh, salvo, if not more. Loads coming. Yeah, shoot people directly in front of you, please. Oh, this little mass right here would be great. That one right there, too. Nice. There they go. They're shattered and running. Good. Oh, these guys might get involved with our artillery. Nope, barely missed. Nope, nope, these guys will. And of course these guys just run off immediately. here. Diamond formation. Going after that artillery. Yep, go ahead and find your one gun remaining. Let's knock this guy out. Go turn this off. Turn it back on. He's broken. How about this one. Wanna put some shots into him, please? Starts at, he's got 35 before the shots come. He leaves out with 19 and shattered at that.
There we go. Hit this artillery. He's out of range. Oh, come on. Kill these guys and let's get it over with. He's down to eight. He's down to six. He's now broken. Shattered, okay. Make a run for it back here. Oh, and I got shattered. Okay, well, at least we'll come across here. Go ahead and put these guys here. We'll catch them if they try to cross too far. These guys are going to have to reload for a second. There you go. Now these guys are going to shoot here for them too. Well, I want all you guys to get involved, so hurry it up. He's been broken. Shattered. He's been broken and shattered. We gotta find an anchor point on this line. There we go, starting to anchor here. Up, oh, he's given up. We scared him enough. He's gonna rush into this, aren't you? Broken and shattered. That should be the end of the Swedes. Okay, there we go. Heroic victory. We lost 98. They lost 815. I'm not surrendering. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he tried to do a quick surrender. Like forced me there to surrender. In this region, it is not yet and there's the there. campaign one is Poland Lithuania. The type of port to construct here. A fishing you have successfully completed your campaign goals, maintain these conquests to the allotted time, and victory will be yours. Yeah, we're not gonna go to the allotted time because we're what, thirty seven years away from that. New port Odessa. About time we get a different port down here. Um just because I don't really need... Well, yeah, I don't really need another port down there. There's Sweden destroyed. Captured it. It's not quite over yet, though. We're gonna capture and hold it. <laughs> That's the 
That's the other piece. Let's get rid of Stockholm there. Um, a commercial port. There's already a dry dock there. Let's get rid of that. We're the College of Divinity. Weavers and an Iron Masters. Cool. Uh, requires wealth of nations now. Okay. Separation of powers, joint stock. We have wealth na wealth of nations is a long way away. All right, in the turn. Now we just got to hold on to our prizes. Which is a thing too, if Russia decides they're going to declare war for St. Petersburg, I'll be at war with Russia and this may not be the last episode, but I have a feeling they won't do it right yet. Just not right yet. The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy with the current government. Failure to comply will lead to an organized rebellion against you. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to further demands. Where exactly will you draw the line? Hmm. Local fishery. Coaching in. Let's try to get some of these things thrown in there. Put that... Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and start fixing up our army. Um. These guys need a little bit longer. Did I even? Nope, I didn't even switch the stuff out. No wonder. Um. Nice coaching in up there. We're only making thirteen ninety. Hmm. Eighty percent government popularity. Nice. France have a protectorate. If I was them. I try to get Savoy or Genoa to be one. Um, let's give it another turn, just to make sure they're probably going to file demands. Now, if we make it to like the normal time, like time period as well for when I normally end an episode, and things are pretty stable, I'm gonna be okay there is with a that. Port in this region that has not yet been developed. There you go. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A okay, these port guys are holding out. the construction of warships. Let's see, that one's got to hold out a little bit longer. How are we doing prestige-wise? Now we're at 1504. If I had been fighting the Maratha, I could have taken all that from them, too. 
economics is a little low, that's all. But you can tell that we've been do trying our best. Like, we have several universities. Like, classical universities, too. That's like the best, almost the best one. That is the best one, actually. Well, modern university, but... Yeah, they're working on that's joint stock, okay. All right, this one right here, I need one more turn because he can't be exempt. I don't want him in exempt status for him to be good. I want him to be okay with me just you know holding on, you know, sitting on the place. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Construction. Select good the type stuff. of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. A naval port allows the construction of warships. Go pull him off. Sit him on, that's okay. Now we're okay, so we're unfriendly with France, Great Britain, the Ottoman Empire, and Spain. We're indifferent with the United States, actually. Oh, they don't even want to be friends. Okay. Um, indifferent with the Maratha, indifferent with the United States, friendly with Russia, indifferent with the Cherokee, unfriendly with Genoa, hostile with Georgia, indifferent with Huron, indifferent with the Inuit, indifferent with the Iroquois, hostile to the Knights of St. John, <laughs> uh, indifferent to Mysore, indifferent to the Plains, and unfriendly to Savoy. We're going to end it with prestige of 1534 to 2041, so pretty safely in second. We're not about to push into first or anything. Enlightenment at 6, 7. We actually have better enlightenment than they do. It's our economics that we just fell behind on. Our navy a little bit. Our military is pretty good still. A little bit more research and we'd be pumping through the charts on them. Um, let's see... You see, though, we did get our objectives. We were supposed to get Belarus and Volhynia, which is right here. We already had Galicia and Poldolia right here. We already had Brandenburg. We had to go get from Prussia. Poland, we already had. Lithuania, we already had. Rumelia. Where's Rumelia? Where are you at? There it is, down here. We had to go to the Ottoman Empire and grab... Sweden. Go to Sweden. We had to fight Sweden for it. And then Austria, which is right here. Had to fight Austria for it. And then we got everything in between. We run from a line here over to here, all the way around here to right there. And then it shifts back across. Down here, we own the middle central part of the Italian peninsula. We cut off here, we roll down this whole side, here, see that's technically the Ottomans, alright here we go, we kind of run down the middle of this, run down the middle here, runs this right here, come up, run the entire Russian border, which has never really changed except for Crimea and St. Petersburg. All the way over to here. And then it runs up to there. Then all the way back around to there. 
So that's pretty much it. We own all of like Central and pretty much most of Eastern Europe except for like Moscow. And probably Karelia gets counted in that. So. Oh, and Kia in the Ukraine. But we own all of Eastern, all of Southern, like the Balkans, almost all of Southern if it would have been for like the Na for Naples and Lombardy and Genoa. Um, all of the Central Zone, all the Northern Zone. Western is not something we ever popped into. We didn't really want to, but still. But, um, all right, guys, that's going to be it right there. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out Discord, and I will see you guys next time.